You hear that? Yes. That is Manscaped working to the best of its ability. That is my nose trimmer. <laughs> That's it's our nose trimmer. You hear it? I hear it all right. Big thanks to our sponsor for the episode, Manscaped. Get it in your Britney Spears and all. You know the, uh, <laughs> the n- <laughs> unbelievable, the number one provider of pre- precision engineering tools. You can probably turn it off now, John. <laughs> for the family jewels. <laughs> Oh, big thanks to Manscaped for uh, for sponsoring the episode. It's uh, it's given me a new lease of life. This has, I'll be honest with you. You read it? It is. Oh, it's it a has, good test on you as well. Co- added confidence. I tell you what else it's done as well. Rose has not coughing as many balls up, is she? No, well, exactly. <laughs> well, uh, the cat's still. <laughs> it's trim now, and it, it before it's it was I don't know a bit like a a bit like a mole coming up, submerging from the long grass in the. In the shrubbery, and now it's it's got it's it's happier. It looks happier. Yeah, looks cleaner. It looks it does it. It, it were a bit pathetic, really. It looked a bit sad in there, mm. you know. But now it's more like a I don't know, like a mere cat amongst the <laughs> amongst the dunes. We don't like to see sad moles, do we? No, <laughs> no. Really like to l- l- see chirpy it's, it's happy and it's chirpy. Yeah. So what, when you're doing it, was it one one foul swoop all off? Oh, all off. <laughs> It's a flipping good test. Yeah. Yeah, that, off yeah. that. If, ever, if, ever, if ever there's a test, because I've seen that. No, it's, Nick. It's not great. It's filth. That's what it is. Filth. It, look, it looks happy. Yeah, it didn't look happy back in the day. It looked filth. That's what it looked. There were bits and all sorts, a bit of cornflakes in it and all sorts. You can just picture a sad mole to a happy me cat. Yeah. Exactly. He's, he's up now. He's up. When, I, when, I, when I unbutton, he's happy. Yeah. And you too, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> can have a happy penis. All you've got to do <laughs> is get your manscape on the go. A happy penis. <laughs> it's got a strut and we've got a special offer, as always. Of course we have. For you under the cost listeners, the Manscaped Performance Package. Are you interested in what you get with the Manscaped Performance Package? I'm Certainly sure you are. are. You get the Lawnmower 3.0. Is that that? Precision trimming. Mm. No nicks. You also get the Weed Whacker, <laughs> which uh, <laughs> John Here it. is continuing to demonstrate. Again, that is my weed whacker. <laughs> That's it at work, that. You get a lovely pair of boxers, the good grudges as they well. They are very good. Snug little In fit. fact, they're my favourite. They've gone straight yeah. in at num- as number one. Yeah. yeah. Just comfortable. Not, not, they're not the uh, Jeff Banks off top spot. Yeah. You get a travel bag as well. So when you're out and about, you can take it with you. After Kurt, we're talking the Crop Preserver Ball Deodorant. We're talking Crop Reviver Ball Toner. And don't forget, you can take full advantage of this offer by going to www.manscaped.com and use the code COSH20. Silence. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I wanna, when, when did you know you were going to be starting the, the tournament? Not, not, uh, we played, we went to Korea first. Uh, we played a game in Korea. I'm one of the, I'm one of the fittest lads. I, I'd had obviously a couple of weeks off at the end of the season, so I was, I was fresh. <clears throat> I mean, so it was, it was me, Trevor Sinclair, and Owen Hargreaves. When we so when we were doing the running, you know, you do laps of the pitch. You've got to catch the guys in front. We were the, like the last three, and we had to make sure we caught everybody else. We were the fittest. So I was, I'm thinking, well, hang on, I'm fit. Number two, all these things were sort of adding up. So we go into we're in Owagi. We we got our hotel and bits and pieces, and then we're doing set piece. We start games a, a week away, uh, Sweden, and we got. Everything's leading up to that. And we started doing, you know, formation with McLaren. Back four, me, Cole, Coley left back, uh, Rio, Sol. Oh, hang on. So I'm in here. We're starting to doing, we're doing proper, we're doing proper play now. Mm. You know, this is, this is not walking through, this is full on 45 minutes at it, uh, dealing with staying up positions, change it, completely different back four. Wayne Bridge left back, Wes Brown, uh, Gareth and Martin Keown. This is starting to look like the team shape. Obviously, later go through later in the week, start doing set pieces. Well, you know, you'll be here for set pieces, whatever. The team's still not been announced, so you're still. But you've, but you've, you've got an idea. Certain yeah. Now. <clears throat> yeah, and you start thinking, yeah, but I've been here before. Yeah, you don't want <laughs> to thinking, fully I've, confirm I've, it. I've ever. had that rug pulled under me so many times before. <laughs> it's not going to happen. Not going to happen. So we go into the t- we uh, we go into the team meeting day of the game. Everyone sat walking, sit there, cross my fingers under my armpits. <laughs> Sven comes in, quietest man ever. 
Very rarely spoke to him. We'll get well, we'll get on to Sven in after this. And, and he's just gone. Okay, um, lads, the team, Seaman, Milch. No idea what he said after that. <laughs> <laughs> Milch. <laughs> I'm, there, I'm like this. I'm there like this. I'm like fucking hell. Can I do a forward roll in the middle of the scene? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> At what point do I get excited now? So you go, you, know, you go, go through your warm up, go, and normality sort of kicks in. You just start, you get in that zone, and you're going through stuff. And then you sort of st- stood in the tunnel, looking across, and no one to the Swedish players, Lundberg and players like that, and you're just thinking, fucking hell. This is, this is a World Cup. Playing in a World yeah. Cup. I'm walking out for the fir- first competitive game, never played in a qualification game, anything like that. Walking out for the first time, representing my country in a World Cup. It's like, I'm fucking bang average. <laughs> 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 it's about a fucking shocker, Wes Brown. <laughs> I've done so well to get to this point in my career. It's like, this is unbelievable. This is like what dreams are made of. So we go out, start the game really well, playing well, confident, whatever. Uh, fit, strong, everything's going well. Ball comes into the box, go chest it down. Ball comes, I'm covering the centre arse. Ball comes over, go chest it down. As I chest it, just slip a little bit. And as I slip, still, I still get, I make the clearance. It still goes out like 25, 30 yards away out there, you know. And he, he has a touch and he just smashes it. Then he straight over Dave Seaman's head, top corner. Get out of Jesus Christ. Did you think, oh, fuck Well, I'm going, I'm going, that's my fault. Mm. You know, and, and instantly I took that and I went, oh, I've slipped. It's my fault with this. What have I done? Oh, fuck's sake. <laughs> well caught England, my first proper start. Yeah, but play, play the rest of the game. Continue playing on, play well, rest of the game. We get a draw. Obviously, we, we were one that up. Um, and we, we, I don't think we'd ever beaten Sweden, in a, you know, because they're, they're a strong side, mm. yeah. you know, at that point. So come on, you've got to go through the mix zone and deal with the press. I just went and fronted it up straight away. and went, yeah, I feel... Good result in the end. I said, yeah, but I'm gutted. I said, you know, I feel like responsible that I've disappointed myself, let people down, whatever. And people are like, oh, no, you, you know, you had a good game. He's not, it wasn't really a mistake. Mm. It sort of, it was, it led to, a, but didn't let it under my foot. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, I didn't, you know, didn't <laughs> shit pass back or something like that. Do you read the press? Oh, yeah, there? of course you do. Um, there's nothing else to do. Yeah. You know, so, yeah, but, and they were, I think because I went out and fronted it up, didn't really get massive criticism. Yeah. I had a, quite a decent game. And then, of course, next game's Argentina. So now I'm thinking, well, I was, oh, I was always on the night. It was always touching where I was going to play. But now I made this bit of a mistake. Sven never said a word. He didn't speak to me at all in between the games. Uh, and then day four of the game, we still don't know the team. We've gone through, because the lads are now sort of, you know, <clears throat> Games now like three, four days apart. So it's like recovery, train, and so not much time to do as much stuff. Um, and Sven came to me day before we were going to do sort of the set pieces and bits and pieces and just said, look, uh, he said, uh, and I, I've, I've spoken to Sven at this point probably once. I mean, properly. And he's gone, you know, Claudio Lopez. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you played at Lazio against him in Champions League. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Fucking not a clue. <laughs> <laughs> So this is what he does. He's really plays on the left-hand side. He's really quick. This, that, and the other, all these bits and pieces. You know, Argentina were the favourites at, at this stage. Um, you know, it was um, Batistuta and, you know, Simeone. Although, you know, they, and obviously four years previous, this was a massive game. Uh, a lot of hatred going into this. So he, he's given me this full spiel on what Claudio Lopez does. Go through all this. So back in the team, same team effectively. I think Owen Hargreaves has... Dropped out, but he's come in because he was injured. Trevor Sinclair's in now. Uh, and we're playing in, playing in Sapporo um, in the dome. In, we're playing inside. So, this is a bit weird, isn't it? So if, you can imagine, first thing we do when we turn up day before, who can hit the roof? <laughs> 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 no warm-up. No warm That's going miles away. Like baseball, it's a baseball stadium. Who can hit the roof? <laughs> <laughs> Smashing balls out of the can. Like no, no thought of anyone getting injured. Um, <laughs> so we, I like, that's, that's it's, incredible. Isn't yeah. it? But it's, 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 the World it's Cup. just what lads Argentina do. Argentina really. yeah. the team, the World Cup, they're playing yeah. Argentina and they're trying to fucking smack the football. <laughs> so we, uh, game comes around and obviously there's, there's a lot of bad feeling because obviously you've got the Beckham thing from four years ago being sent off. 
all the all the aftermath. Obviously, England Argentina is always nasty. Mm. We've got to beat them. Really, if we lose, we're out. Uh, simple as that. You know, they're they're the favourites. We've never I think we only ever beat them once in a competition um, at, at that stage. Simeone's playing. Bex is playing. If it's what are the pressure levels like? Oh, massive! The, the tension before mm. that game was, was phenomenal. It's inside. Uh, small, so 20,000 people, probably 17,000 English fans, most of them Japanese because of Bex. You know, like, Becca, Becca. <laughs> everywhere we went, you know, he had the mohawk. He was like prime, him and Posh were at their prime at that point. I, so it was, it was weird. It was bizarre. And we, I was playing against Kili Gonzalez. I was the left winger who played for Valencia in the Champions League. And we'd had quite, we'd had a few tussles. Uh, um, so that uh, knew what it was up against. He, he was me, and we we just played an unbelievable game. We were just incredible. Uh, there was we were unlucky, and we, we we obviously got the penalty. M Michael made the most of the situation. Bex took the penalty, and I'm on the halfway line, like fingers under my armpits. <laughs> <laughs> please go in, please go in, please go in, please go in, please go in. Oh, he's going, oh, it's gone in. <laughs> it's like oh, we've got away with one. He scuffed that mm. straight down the middle. <laughs> uh, and then toward the last 15 minutes, we're holding on. Big time. They've, they've thrown everybody on. You know, I've, I've got Lopez is now on as well. We've got Kili Gonzalez. Everybody's, you know, they just, it, we've got Teddy Sheringham playing like centre half, <laughs> you know, clearing things off the line. It's just tin hats out, uh, whatever. Of course, we, we get through the game and afterwards was just unbelievable. I've never seen anything like it. I mean, <clears throat> we go in, they refuse to shake hands. Uh, don't want, they won't swap shirt, won't do anything. Nothing to do with it. Uh, Going down a tunnel, and it's going down a tunnel, and it's now people like Sol who are proper quiet, steady as you like, going mental. All that feeling from four years previous, because I don't know if you've seen it, and, and I've not really watched him ever back. Simeone went to shake Beck's hand just before he takes the penalty, and I think Nicky Butt walked over and pushed him away. So he's Simeone's walking over to shake his hand, mind game, oh massively, mm -hmm. and but he just goes, oh, "I'm not having that, son. Get out of the way." <laughs> Um, so there, there was all sorts of shenanigans going on. So we're coming off, going out of the spitting and all sorts. It's like, it's, it's horrific. So we're in the dressing room and it's all going off. Apps, you know, and it's just, it's just crazy. Absolute beat, beating all Argentina. Tension and everything just gone. Oh, it, it was like, the, we'd played well in the first game, but we'd drawn. We're in the group of death because we've got Nigeria, final game, Akotcha and all those sorts as well. We played Nigeria, we, we draw the game. Uh, Comfortably, really, and then we go into the into the quarterfinals against Denmark, um, and on the way to the game, because of the time difference in the hotel, we had ITV and BBC, but there was no TV Plus or Record or whatever. Yeah, so we're watching early morning news. Well, yeah, so we're watching like stuff at two in the you know what you normally yeah. see on ITV at two or three in the morning. It's not great. We've got we've got laptops and bits and pieces, a bit of it, but it was like friend dream. Under the armor, under well, well, the armor, catching the attic. There, 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 there was there was no, there was nothing on TV. You know, there was nothing on the internet really. I don't even Google existed in then, mm. or not. You know, not nowhere near mm. as it does today. But we had, a game, we, a oh, yeah, because... we had a game. We had a games room downstairs, which was the hub. So we had a cinema. We had um, arcade machines, pool, table football. All that, you know, we had our own arcade, which was brilliant. You know, we had a, the fishing game. David Seaman loved the Sega fishing game. Yeah. He was just on it constantly. Couldn't get him off it. <laughs> Talk about a hog. He's the worst Come on, mate. Give us a go. <laughs> yeah. We're we're caught, fishing you've again. Caught, you've caught all that. It's like that. <laughs> Seen David down there and he's weird as a game. Taking this too serious, Dave. It's like, wait, wait, it's I've got a big one coming in here. That's a Harley. But it's like, you know, there's, there's a leaderboard for like the Star Wars game and this, that and the other and, and all the lads are going through and it, it was great because it, it was a it was a, couldn't go out of the hotel because mm. every time we stepped out japanese fans because of becks everyone thought we were beckham right sure <laughs> what that was but we had fat you know it was, it was just crazy <laughs> so confined to this hotel um but we so we'd not seen anything from back home so it's, it's well on the way to the game that they've put on the reaction from the last three games you know back home you know so going around you know manchester leeds london <laughs> And you're seeing people jumping in canals at like 10 in the morning, hammered. Because, you know, and after they... they yeah. <laughs> I'm sure, I'm sure you were there. Me, was <laughs> there was this big lad with a beard kept appearing. <laughs> <laughs> and it was like, we were like, oh my God. Look at the reaction that, that, that this is having sort of in, nationally. It's sensational. It's just 
off the scale. Mm. We've gone into the, the Denmark game. And, and again, they're a good side at, at this point. We're three to lap after that 20 minutes. We've just blown them away. And then that adrenaline rush that we'd seen, we just went out and we just went, poof, bosh, three nil. Job done. Simple as that. And then, of course, going to the quarterfinal, we've got Brazil. And then uh, and you're thinking, but we're now starting to think, you know what, if we beat Brazil, best team in the tournament now by far. Yeah, but if we beat Brazil. We'll have a chance. We could win this. Mm. This is Brazil. I mean, we're talking. Imagine, about- imagine we win this. <laughs> <laughs> Fingers on your cross on your finger. Might get, ni- <laughs> might get knighted. <laughs> Sleeping you know, with your fingers crossed. Sir Jeff, your Sir Jeff and all that. Might could, could, get, could, get, could get knighted in this. <laughs> and you know, your stupid things start to go through your mind. So we, you know, we're leading up to the game, and we're going through it. We're thinking, hang on. So we look at their team, and of course, they, they, they. At that stage, they were playing four two 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 all the way through the middle. Strangest formation that you, you've ever seen. But of course, Cafu and Carlos were the fullbacks. The midfielders and the wingers, they, they were the width. Mm. Simple as that. You know, in the middle, you had Rivaldo, Ronaldinho, Gilberto, Silva. Romario, Roberto, Carlos. Oh, it's just, just, it was ridiculous. <laughs> Sen- sensational team. But we're, we're ready. You know, we're thinking, you know, it's, it's really, it's played in Osaka, I think. It's ridiculously hot. You know, it's 40 degrees pitch side. Three o'clock kickoff, whatever it is. Absolutely mental. And we, we go one lap, don't we? You know, I've... I get half an assist, hoof it up the pitch, Emil flicks it on. <laughs> my, my, <laughs> that half an assist. Really, that is fucking clutch. This is the Indian Merkel. Half an assist. Oh, oh, no. fucking it, it, get, it gets better, gets better, <laughs> gets better. It gets better. So I, 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 I've hit a long ball up to Emil, who's flicked it on. Michael's gone through, scored. But I've carried on my run. So I think, well, you know, I've, I've played the ball into Emil, I've, I've gone on overlap, I'll just keep going. And bombing down the right-hand side. Of course, Michael scores and runs towards the corner flag where I'm... Heading that way as well. Bex is, Bex is obviously on that side. So obviously the, the celebration is me, Bex and Michael Owen. <laughs> <laughs> the dream team. Yeah. <laughs> it's three musketeers. It's like, me and your mates. <laughs> <laughs> Danny Mills ecstatic after his half an assist. <laughs> yeah, it's, like, Brazil. it's like, here we go, I'm in, I'm in here. <laughs> Come on, boys. <laughs> that, that pitch, that, that's the pitch you need, lads. That, that, that'll get you in anywhere. Don't worry about that. <laughs> That's, that's the idea you need. Um, <laughs> and of course, just before half time, there's a sort of a tackle on the halfway line, sort of, you know, Bex, I think Bex thinks it's going to run out of play. Um, and it's in their half, isn't it? It's no real issue. But then they just, they just go, bum, 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 bum. Oh my God. It's like the quickest play ever. And all of a sudden it falls to Rivaldo. I oh, do was he 16 yards out on his left peg? Yeah. <sighs> that's it. Dave Seaman's got no chance. <clears throat> it's just like, bosh. Straight in, bend, bends it in the corner. And that's just poor half time. So, we, you know, we, that's knocked us big time. Uh, we, we've come in we, and we're all a bit deflated at this point. We were playing, re- we were playing unbelievably well. Mm. You know, we were wandering up we were, and we were giving them a really good game. But, I mean, we come out of second half and obviously Gareth made the statement in his book afterwards, you know, we, we needed Churchill speech, that rousing speech, and we got Ian Duncan Smith from Sven. Mm. It was nothing. People said, what, what was the team talk? I said, well... I don't know. Don't know. Was that typical of him? Yeah. Didn't, uh, I, I said, I don't know what he said. No idea. Absolutely no idea what he said. Is that because you were just no, so in the moment? He, he, he or... did, didn't say much. It just wasn't right. memorable. Yeah, so it yes. was always like, we go, we kill them, we go and kill them, and <laughs> we we'll kill them, and we nicely play, and we kill them. It's like, yeah, fucking hell. So yeah. do you think if you'd have had a... I don't I mean, it's Roy hard. Keenan. Yeah, yeah, because people would, would have like gone half dismissed then and gone right, boys. Yeah, this, so there's, there's, there's part of it we should have been on ourselves, and we're professionals and we're internationals at this point. So, you, but that's what the manager's there for in those key moments to send you out second half and like, come on, let's we can do this. Mm. We can mm-hmm. have a real good go. And of course, second half got underway, uh, and we, you know it's hot. We're knackered. We're five games, you know, with this, five games into it, it's baking hot. Ronaldinho comes across the middle of the pitch I've cleared it and he's left his foot in a little bit and he's caught me no really issues I've gone I've just gone down and as, as I've sort of gone to get up and Scholes has come over and gone, stay down son. stay down he's got a card out stay down well I stay on the floor then it <laughs> didn't, didn't, wasn't wrong I, I, bet, I bet that fucking heat weren't great for Scholes oh. in either one I, mean, like <laughs> wasn't, I, 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 I wasn't rolling around you know I wasn't doing out like that it was, it was, just, laid, it was just laid on the floor still he's got a card out 
He might, he's going to get a booking. Looks like he's going to get booked. Oh, okay, stay down, stay down. Waste a bit of time as well. You know, you get a bit of a breather. He sends him off. <laughs> he pulled a red card out, didn't he? For Aldinho. <laughs> I can't remember it, me. I'm it was like, my memory it, it, was, it was never a red card. You know, and, and uh, referee got that wrong um, at, at that stage. But obviously we were 2-1 down because yeah. yeah. he'd already scored the free kick at that point. Because he, he did have studs up a bit, didn't he? It but, just, I mean, it was, it was a bouncing ball and, it, and he'd, I'd cleared it and he'd sort of skim me shin. Yeah. And it caught, it caught me, you know, he catch a shin bone. He go, oh, and I went, that was it. Mm. Just trying to get a free kick. So we now, now got 10 And I think the only regret, people said, we've got any regrets about the game. I think it's, yeah, we never, we never really went for it in the last 10 minutes. We never went, mm. you know what, let's just shell it in. Do you think that's because you were fucked? Yeah. I think it was part of that. Uh, I think we were, we were knackered. I think I, I had one of the only shots in the second half, I think, in the game. He took a deflection, went over for a corner, whatever. But we we couldn't get near him. Even with ten men, they just kept the ball, mm. and we were knackered. You know, we we try, and that's maybe the only regret is that we didn't just go. You know what? Shell it, lads. Yeah. You know, stick the big man up front and just bomb it in the, and see what happens. Yeah. yeah. What you could have done with it? Could have done with a fucking. Day. You could have done with putting David James up front. Couldn't <laughs> <you>? <laughs> we could have, could have done with a John Barkin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, do you remember? But, did, yeah. I mean, did you think for a minute it was going in that free kick? No. Oh, it's pure fluke. Pure fluke. Never meant it in any way, shape or form. Still, to, there's no way that he meant that. He's never done it since. Mm. Never. And we, worst thing was we'd lost and you're out. And it's a bit of a surreal moment. And they get pulled over and, and Nobhead from UEFA comes running over. Mills, Ferdinand, drugs test. Looks Last like, thing you want. Oh, Jesus Christ. Been playing 90 minutes for like in 40 degree heat. No, I've got a piss in a bottle. Well, I've lost about a stone. Uh, no, but probably, uh, re realistically, probably lost five kilos in fluid. Completely dehydrated. Mm. But again, of course, all the lads are in the dressing room. And me and Rio get carted off to this little poxy wafer room. You've got to go and piss in a bottle. Walk in. Who's in there? Gaffo. Fucking Ronaldinho. <sighs> They're good smells on the faces. Oh, well, he's laughing. That's not a smile you want to see, is it, Ronaldinho? Cafu Ka 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 was good as gold. Absolutely brilliant. Gave me a shirt. Not, not an issue. Top guy. Ronaldinho's laughing, joking. Like, I'm, I'm thinking, oh, fuck, I'm going to bang him out. <laughs> <laughs> it's like that. We've just been knocked, just been knocked out of the world. Just sit in a corner. Just a bit sit, disrespectful, really, isn't it? You just think, just sit in a corner. Yeah. And it took me, oh, trying to, it's like, just give me water, water, water. Just trying to, drinking bottle after bottle, desperate for a bit. you want to get out of there? So finally, after about two hours, finally, get out of the, have your piss, get out of the room, just about catch the, the, the bus is thinking we're going to leave because mm. we can't wait for these. If not, we have a piss. We, we'll have to go without them. So I finally get back on the bus. It's just somber. It's just like, no one's speaking. Go back to the back of the bus, sit next to Nigel Martin. Now what? Go on. You know, we'd gone from, Playing in a World Cup quarter final against Brazil. So 36 hours later, at home. Yeah. Mm. On the other that, side of the world. It's like, that's it. <clears throat> you're out. I mean, you'd be, you'd be down on your natural adrenaline. Oh, of course, yeah. So, you, you know, you've, no, no, well, we've, we've not to mention everything else. We, we've messed up. <laughs> not to mention all, but off your fucking tits. <laughs> well, yeah, but, you know, you, you've messed up. You're this. And it's, it's, just a, it's just a drain. And, you know, because while you're in it, you just keep going. Mm. You just keep going, keep going. The moment you stop, Oh, dearie me. I'll have a, I'll have a come near. Let's have a piss, lads. All right. No, that's yeah. fine. From your point of view, after that tournament, you must, you must have gotten so much confidence. Oh, I, I mean, it was the first. So I was at Leeds. And people in Leeds knew who I was. I was doing, doing, we were doing well at Leeds. Came back from that, went to, uh, went to Spain, see some friends. I had to fly out of Stansted. Um, with, again, obviously, you know, a couple of young kids and whatever, misses and... Stood at Stansted, uh, flying out, whatever it was, the easy jet or this, that, and the other. And all of a sudden, everybody like looking and sort of people pointing. I'm just thinking, oh, a bit weird, isn't it? I hadn't really sort of clicked in at that point, yeah. but going from a Leeds player where a few people knew you in Leeds, whatever, <clears throat> you know, and you get recognised in Leeds, to suddenly actually, now you've become, pe people have just seen you constantly for the last four weeks, yeah. you know, replays and all that sort of thing and interviews and everything else. And, and now suddenly... Oh, and they had no social media. So it's the first, so you, you know, you stood in the airport and people are going, 
and then like, the police come over with the guns and go, is everything all right? You just, you know, you're like, all right. Was that a bit unerring <laughs> to start with? Yeah, yeah, oh, definitely. Yeah, it's, it's a bit, you know, still a relatively young lad, 24, 25, whatever, you know, and risen quite quickly through that. So suddenly to go from doing whatever you wanted, suddenly everybody knew who you were. Yeah. At that point, I had 14 England caps off the back of the World Cup and I needed 15 England caps for a trigger point in my contract at Leeds. Bastard. If only we'd have played in the semi-final. Yeah. <laughs> You're not sports fan. Oh, oh well, the next no, yeah. Is, so, so you think, it's oh, bloody yeah. hell. So we were playing, we played Middlesbrough early that, early that season and I, I knew McLaren was interested uh, at, at that point. I think Rangers had been interested. There'd been a, there'd been a bit of interest, obviously, after the World Cup and bits and pieces. Some tentative bids around sort of six, seven million quid. Which sounds like our, our leads on the with the, the no, no, so we're still doing well at this point. Right. This is uh, this is straight after the World Cup. So we're out on the pitch up. We're playing Middlesbrough and conveniently, not sure how it happened, no idea. In the sun that morning before we played Borough, Borough want mill seven million pound bid. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a feeling you might have had a little bit to do with that. <laughs> oh, look what's in the paper. <laughs> <laughs> so Ridsdale comes on the pitch uh, as we're going out for the warm up. You know, going out to walk on on the pitch and whatever. He, can, he comes out. He says, uh, "Don't worry about that contract. You know, don't worry about that next cap." He says, "It's coming, obviously." He says, well, let, "Let's get that contract done. Let's let's get it signed and sorted." <laughs> <laughs> it's worked. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Right, sorted. Uh, and th so this is right at the start of the season, and then we start to have the bad season. Um, things start to get bad. But I've got this contract and because of the England thing and everything else, there was loads of issues around image rights and tax issues and all these types of things. So the contract was effectively, was agreed in the October, done and dusted. Signed? In principle and legally, yes, but it was like it had to go off to see to the lawyers and the tax and the government yeah. to work out what you could get away with in terms of image rights, or not get away, but yeah, what you, what you could proportion to image rights and and... If it all went wrong, it came back to this. It was just whether the, it was, it was faff around with tax issues and that type of thing. So, I mean, and this was a, it was a good contract. It was great. I mean, we'd sat in, my pal had come up uh, from Norwich, uh, to help looking after me, financial guy. And we brought a solicitor up and just said, look, you sit in the corner, don't speak. You're here just to sign the contract legally. That's all we need you for, nothing else. Right, fine, you're, and you'll get paid accordingly because you know because I didn't have an agent, mm. uh, but so you had to have sort of legal representation at the time. So we met at uh, met at Burstall, at the you know, where IKEA is and whatever. We met in Burger King, <laughs> so, <laughs> signing this massive contract. Like, ah, fuck it, we'll have a yeah, so we'll we're have a waffle, double cheeseburger waffle. We're sat we're sat in Burger King. And we've gone, gone through, oh, I've spoken to the PFA, I've spoken, right, I know what everyone, I don't know names, but I know what the wage structure is and I know what other players are and other clubs international wise and this, that, and this. So I know, I, saw, I know my value within, yeah. a, within a region. I know what I'm on already. And we sat there thinking, right, okay. So we start off and thinking, right, okay, let's, needs to be a bit cheeky here. So bear in mind, I think at the time, Vadukes is probably top earner at the club. I'm like 45 grand a week or something. So I'm thinking, so we sat there going, oh, come on, let, let's, do we push it? Yeah, because we're going we're gonna to get chipped, aren't we? We're going to get chipped. We're going to get knocked down no matter what. It's not an issue. Come on, let, let's go in. We'll ask, what should we ask? 35? Let's ask for 35. Knowing that that's going to get knocked back for you and, and cut down. Oh, come on, we ask for 40. <laughs> <laughs> Get some more in rings, look, please. Get some more in rings. What's another, another, another milkshake? <laughs> You know, why don't we just be stupid and go, yeah, there's a bid on the table from Borough. They, they, they know they want to keep you in England. Say, oh, sorry, let's, go ask, let's go and ask for 50. Let's see what happens. Fuck it, hell. It got worse. We're driving to the Ellen Road, <laughs> going to chairman's office. And we sat there and walk in. Uh, right, okay, so uh, this is my lawyer. Go sit in the corner. Uh, it's a pal of mine, you know, advisor, representative, whatever. Uh, okay, so what do you want? Well, having thought about it, you know, where we are, where we're at now, where the club's going, this, that, and the other, 65 grand a week. <laughs> Rich David really fell off his chair. <laughs> I'm not surprised. <laughs> you fucking doubled it, Mills. Yeah. <laughs> you fucking have doubled the original. I know, it was, uh, it was, and I said it with a straight face. It was absolutely ridiculous. 
<laughs> but we, we, we got to that point where, you know, it's like any negotiation, if you ask for that, you're going to meet in the middle somewhere, yeah. aren't you? So we thought, the more we ask for, the, the surely it's the less, stay the, the less we're going to fall. So, so from Burst, Burger King and Burstall to Ellen Ward has gone up 15 grand a week. <laughs> <laughs> How does that even happen? <laughs> it's eight minute drive. Yeah, it's not far. <laughs> <laughs> and we've, and it, and we've, okay, that can't do that. That's not. Can't do that. But, but, but with a, I suppose I am asking, what was that an increase of? What were you already on? Uh, I thought I'd, I'd have been on. I'd have been on twentyish. I'd have thought I'd have been on about eighteen. I think. So we start. So you're trebling here. Well, so, yeah, yeah, so, so, yeah, oh, yeah. So, so, <laughs> So, so initially, initially we're thinking, let's go and ask for double. No, yeah. we're never going to get that. It's going to come down <laughs> dramatically. So we thought, well, actually, we knew where we wanted to get to roughly. So we thought, well, actually, let's just be ridiculous. Yeah. If we go treble, we might get double. Well, yeah. That, that was the theory behind it. It was, like, it was just stupid off the cuff. <laughs> never expecting anyone near it. Because, you know, I, I was always quite, you know, diligent in that sort of stuff. So I, I knew what the bottom line was. I knew what I was... I wasn't going to sign in for any less than that. Yeah. But it was always likely to be a bit more than that anyhow. What would you have signed for? Uh, I, I mean, at the time, I'd, I'd have signed for probably 25. <laughs> <laughs> You've asked for 40 bags a week, actually. <laughs> oh, yeah. 40. <laughs> you don't ask, you don't get. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that was the theory. So, so we've, gone th we've gone through the whole thing. We've gone through it and gone, right, okay, five-year deal. Right, sorted. Yeah, all done and dusted. And we sat, get to the end of it. <clears throat> And then I've gone, uh, is it, right, okay, is that everything now? All, all the details, all the bonuses, all the restructuring, everything, you know, this, that, and <clears> what <throat> happens, all the rest of it. Yeah, everyone's pretty much happy. And I just said to him, I said, uh, I said, I'll tell you what, though. I said, one thing. I said, uh, can I have the fish tank? <laughs> <laughs> just as taking the piss at this point. Because <laughs> you, you know, that, that little aquarium type thing, you know, the, the tropical fish in it. <laughs> The deal could have been fucking bed or wreck yeah. on a fish tank. Anyway, 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 we've had anything else. You might as well have that as well. <laughs> <laughs> Under the arm. Off you went. <laughs> so that's the October. So it's now, it's now done. Um, and whatever happens, whenever it gets signed, it's going to be backdated to that point. And that's all legal. It's all done and dusted. But it's PFA. Everyone's seen it. Lawyers have seen it. Everything. So it goes on, it goes to the HMRC and it's like uh, this, that and the other. And it's all the issues and it's constantly issues and all this, that and the other. And it's like, oh, fucking hell, Jesus Christ. But I'm all right, I don't, don't need the money, whatever. And we start doing really badly, don't we? And all of a sudden, there's like, becomes a bit of a fire sale and everything starts to slowly fall apart at this stage. So we get to sort of, we get to March, I think. Yeah, we get to the March time. Woody's now been sold. Clearly, the club's in financial crisis. Mm. We're, you know, we're not, we didn't make the Champions League and all these types of things. Something's not quite right. Financially, the club's are on a, starting to fall apart. So things are clearly not right now. And the administrator, you know, there's lots of rumors and everything's going on. And the administrators still get called in. And bizarrely, now who's one, one of my best pals is one of the administrators that comes in. Um, he was Ernst Young at the time. So Gary's been dragged in to Ellen Road and he's gone right okay you're now in you're in bother you owe the American banks a load of cash you've borrowed off them and this that and the other right no one no more deals no one signs anything that's it we are going you know we are going through forensic accountants we are going through everything not a single deal anything gets signed unless it comes across my desk two days later Danny Mills signs five year deal oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> he said, Gary, Gary he, he rings up. And he, he said, What the fuck is going on? I told you no contracts. The problem was, because it, it was already previously agreed, yeah. it was done and dusted. So it was done like six months, but the timing was like, Terrible. it was priceless. Bump into me like in the playground at school, and he just looked at me. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, we, were, we were speaking about it all the day, weren't we? You know, like when, whenever we've signed contracts, basically it's just been. Your basic, your appearance money, your goal bonus. Yeah. Like, I can't imagine everything nah, that different has to, level. You know, like, everything that has to go oh, in. Yeah. I, I had Image all sorts in it. And... By yeah, the way, no. did, did the try and chip you down? Or did, did oh, you... yeah, I didn't get 65 grand. <laughs> <laughs> I was just thinking that. Look at that fucking house. <laughs> <laughs> fucking down for all these, Milsey. Bought, bought that in 2001. Good, good investment. <laughs> Which is a backlash from the fans then, with everything going on, and then all of a sudden you sign a five-year deal? No, not not really. Um, Did they really need to make it public? 
I, th- I think I, I think it had to, it leads to PLC. Mm. So it sort right. of it came out through that way, whatever. Um, <laughs> and we, but, but of course, then it was just financial meltdown from then on in. You know, it was just carnage. End of that season was just players getting sold left, right, and centre, all over the game. I think we went away international friendlies, whatever. Uh, and they were like, oh, you know, we need to start selling. Players were getting players were just going. Did you not? Did you ever think to yourself, I tell you what, I'm not going to. Uh, things seem to be going tits up. I'm not going to sign this. I'll get salt for cheaper and make my money up that end. But it was already done. Yeah, we were in October. Guaranteed. Like, so far, I'd obviously back, been back dated. I had that money. So I had four and a half years left. Mm. <clears throat> so then we went away internationals, came back. Peter, we just survived that season. We beat Arsenal, penultimate game of the season. Like a night game. No, afternoon. Vaduks and, v- and Harry turned up for the first time. That that integral season. to the story. <laughs> what? What time of day the match <laughs> was? <laughs> oh, so, so, yeah. <laughs> dark or light? <laughs> we we the ultimate game of the season. We beat Arsenal, survived. And that meant Man United won the title. So for Leeds fans, it was a little bit of bittersweet. But we'd stayed up. You know, it's, it's just still a very very strong side at this point. And then over the summer, we'd gone away internationals and bits and pieces. So I came, I came back after internationals. I knew the club were trying to get rid of me because uh, we had, you know it was me and Gary Kelly. So it's like one of us had to go. Simple as that. Too too many, lots of good players. Not on not an unrealistic money for where we were at the time. No one was you know no one was on stupid money. It, it was all relative to other clubs and mm-hmm. how well we'd done everything else. But instead of having a squad of twelve players on that, we had twenty five. Right. So he had to cut the squad in half to just balance the books. You know, because even now you look at squads of what fifteen strong and then sort of kids and academy. It's made up like that, isn't it? We had just had 25 internationals done. So we're going through that sort of uh, way of working it. Came back in, went to saw Peter Reid and, and just said to Reedy, uh, okay, realise the club want to get rid of me. Come back a couple of late weeks late for pre-season, come in on international duty. No, 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 it's fine, Dan. It's fine. Uh, I, I'm in charge. You know, I, I want you here. You're part of this club. I make the decisions, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, all over it. Um, not a problem. You know, you've done well for... For this club, you done well. End of the season. Yep, no, fine, no bother, uh, not a problem. Okay, N- don't listen to the board. Nothing to do with it. I pick the team. Oh, great. Get up, start working. Uh, yeah, go and train with go and train with Aggers in the reserves <laughs> and the kids. Oh, great. Okay, so then there's there's me, Harty, Barnby, Batty. Uh, I think Jason Wilcox. Anybody uh, on a decent? Oh, ah, yeah. It's like whoever they want is like go and go and train in the car park. Effectively, do yeah. one. <laughs> So then he left, it was the first time ever, or well, first time for like 10 years, he left me out of the squad against Newcastle on the first opening game of the season. Fucking hell, opening game of the season, I've never missed that. Mm. He's put like two 17-year-olds on the bench. <clears throat> I'm going, right, okay. I'm annoyed now, but I get it. This is clearly not for me. And Reedy, Reedy's coming out in the press, oh, he's not quite in this, he's trying to make it and my you're fault. Dry. Played for England and on, against, against Croatia on the Wednesday night. <laughs> <laughs> So the managers we spoke about, Keegan, <coughs> Reed. Yeah, I mean, and so and they're all like, so why, say why say that? Why say that to you? Reedy's gone, oh, he's not good enough. Doesn't, don't, you know, he's not good enough to be in the squad at the moment. And I've played for England on the Wednesday. So I can't get in the, two 17 year olds ahead of me, which I've heard of. And I've played for England on the Wednesday. Are they looking after himself though? Like that pressure from above, like Risdale saying, if, listen, if we need to get rid of But if they'd, be said, honest. if they'd have said to me, Look, we need to get rid of you. Just work with it. I, I get it. It's not an issue. Yeah. I understand that. Yeah, it's a football thing. Then, I'll work. Yeah. I'll work out. I'll just be honest with me. Not a problem. Go through it. So that's what, so. McLaren was like, "What's going on?" Even Sven came to me and said, "Oh, Danny, what, what, what's happening?" I said, "Well, clearly they just want rid of me and whatever." Cheers, Sven. You could have told me that you Kai Bush moved to Chelsea. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know at that point. <laughs> See that turn up to where Wolf Abbey. Yeah. Going, so just so lamp- McLaren, lamp- McLaren was there, and, and Steve was like, "What's going on?" I said, "Well." Clearly, they want they want rid of me. Um, you know, there's a fire sale going on. They're letting people go left, right, and centre. He said, "Well, do you want to come? Want to come to us? Because you know Hugo, you know Gareth, you know a few of the players. We're doing well. We're on the up. Come play for us, just up the road. Yeah, let's get it done. Bang on, sorted. Right, and that, and that was it. But it's going to cost you ninety five grand a week." <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Was just like the first one. Lads, get the troops back together, meet in the tent. <laughs> so, but you'll fucking be quiet again. <laughs> so I spoke, get in spoke, the spoke, to, spoke to the borough. <laughs> Clubs were talking and, and Leeds wanted a million and a half quid at this stage. 
and Borough, and it was Borough went, look, we want you in now. We need to get this deal done, get it over the line for the window, whatever it was, for something to happen. We just need to get you in this weekend. We want you in, get it underway, get it done. And they were faffing around with it, this, that, and the other. They said, look, I'll tell you what, we'll pay all his wages. Let's just get him on loan till Christmas. And then Keith Lumber's like, we'll get him on loan till Christmas. Yeah, and then we'll, we've got enough time then to get this deal done properly. They only want a million and a half quid. It's not a lot of money, you know, for where you're at. We'll sort it. No bother. Done and dusted. Fuck it, I just want to play. Juninho would have been in squad then. Yeah, yeah. So uh, me, me and Mendy signed on the same day. <laughs> I mean, Mills for free transfer, Mendietti for free transfer, who had cost, I think, Lazio 38 million the year before. <laughs> Why well, you came on a free? <laughs> it's the strangest free transfer on the planet, isn't it? Jesus. I think, I think he was the world's most expensive player at that stage, 38 million. Yeah. How did Berry get him? I don't, I, and it was, it was a free transfer. So Venel had been involved, wouldn't he? I mean, yeah. it, was just, I mean it was just, it was bizarre. I mean, absolutely bizarre. I mean, you know, he was we, we called him Harry for a bit because he looked like Harry at a Dumb and Dumber with his hair cut. <laughs> <laughs> One of the best players I've ever played. I mean, phenomenal player. Better and, than Juninho? Oh, outstanding Mendy. Mendy was tremendous. But that, it, was, it was, we were doing really, really well, obviously in the Carling Cup, going, going through the rounds, so doing well. decent in the league. And then it got to, got to Christmas where for me, it all fell apart. Yeah. What happened at Christmas? And did you <laughs> threw, threw me toys out of the pram, didn't I? <laughs> you did. At Burra? Yeah. So <clears throat> we got to this stage, we've gone through, so we're now in the Carling Cup final. Final, semi-final, whatever. We've done brilliantly. You know, we play, played, I played every single game. Been playing with a broken toe uh, for most of it. Injections before the game, injections at half time. You know, getting to midnight and me foot like a cartoon. Sorry, I, I, oh, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't three months of it. It's fucking horrific. Up, you know, just going <laughs> throbbing. Yeah. You know, bright red. But doing really well. It's got to get into Christmas, obviously transfer window uh, in, in January or whatever. It's going, right, okay, Barry, you need to get this done now. Promise me we can get done. Right, okay, yeah, let, let, let's, let's get the contract agreed. We know what you're earning. We'll take over that. Actually, yeah, I'll take that. I'll, I'll accept that and we'll give you another year. Yeah, okay, that's fine. Don't want any more money. We'll just take it over as it is. That's fine. Right, okay, so you know, basically it was just swapping the contract, adding add another year on, going from there. So it gets to the end of January and we've got Leeds last game before the window closes. So it finally gets to it, and Keith, I'm saying, I'll bring you guys in. He says, well, you know, bring him up on, bring him up next Friday. You know, we play Saturday. Bring him up Friday. We'll get the deal done. You know, we'll, we'll, we'll have it. Bring your lawyer. We'll sign it all off. And the lead's still wanting one point five. Well, I'm not really. I'm, they're they're in the bottom three at the moment. Yeah. So we get to it. Go in his office. My guys have come up. Yeah, here it is. Everything's done and dusted. Yeah, standard. It's exactly the same. Basically copied and pasted it from the leads one. Not a problem. Go out training, come back in. Right, okay, yeah, we all ready then? Everyone happy? Lawyer's been through it. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Um, Keith Lamb's gone, oh, oh just uh, one, one slight issue. Slight problem. Uh, we're still waiting for a phone call back from Leeds because we haven't agreed the fee yet. What do you mean you haven't agreed the fee? You've had six months. It's a million and a half quid. Mm. Not... <laughs> It's a bargain, really. Yeah. Uh, the wages are relatively high, but it, you know, not from what you pay in Mendieta and all the rest of it. This is a bargain. Yeah. Million, it went well. Yeah, we they're really struggling now, and it looks like they might get relegated. So we're thinking at the end of the season we might get on a free transfer, and if you can hang on till then, we get you on a free. Oh no, 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 no! I said this is not what I said. You promised me you'd get it done at the very, very beginning, and because it whatever, I agreed to come on loan because it couldn't quite, it wasn't quite time enough, and I've done you a favour. And now you're telling me you've had six months or whatever, five months, and you've not done anything about it. Yeah, but if we get on a free, we could... No, 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 no. I went, no. Don't fucking come to me with that. So when you throw your <laughs> toys out the pram, I'm thinking you've had a ban of it. But this is... I think this is quite legitimate, yeah. this one. Well, it gets worse. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think. So we're going through it. So I'm going, no, hang on a minute. No, I can't be doing this. I said, you're now, you're now taking the piss. I said, so you're expecting me now to go back to Leeds tomorrow play at Ellen Road when they're in the bottom three, play against my club where if you fuck this deal up at the end of the season, because you've already fucked it up twice, I'm going to have to go and sign for Leeds. And I've been a part of getting them relegated. I went, never in a million years am I playing in that game. 
I said, not happening. I said, I will be crucified. I said, I've got to go and live. I said, my family live there. Mm. I said, there's no way. I said, what? It's no, no, trust. I, I went, trust you. <laughs> <laughs> so they're not even wanting to keep you for the end of the season? Yeah, yeah, they want to keep me. Yeah. But they, they want me to get to the end of the season and then go, oh, Leeds are now relegated. Yeah. So we can get you on a free transfer and we can save a million and a half quid. But Maybe. That, it's exactly. not well, yeah, exactly. It's but still... if I get to this and Borough go, well, we've changed our mind. I've got to go back down to a championship club. Yeah. yeah. So I, hang on a minute. You've, I've, got, I've been part of getting you to a Carling Cup finally. You know, we're doing well in the league. Yeah. You're going to be in Europe. It's like, it's a million quid. I don't take, you know, you take, now you're taking the piss. Yeah. You promised to do it in August. And you didn't, you faffed around and didn't get it done. You've done five months to agree a million pounds and you've not even agreed a fee with them. <clears> I went, I'm not playing. I said, not, not doing it. I said, fuck yourselves. So I'm not having it. So Steve McLaren phoned me up on the Sunday. He says, uh, need to come in tomorrow, Dan. Uh, chairman needs to want to see you. And now you're you now feeling bitterness against Middlesbrough like you did not. Oh, yeah. So I'm now going, I was saying, you, you've, he said, he said, chairman wants to see you. He said, fuming. I said, he's fuming. So I'm absolutely <laughs> fucking raging. <laughs> so we go back in see the ch and chairman goes, oh, I'm really, you know, really disappointed. I said, what do you mean disappointed? I said, you, you, your chief exec just pulled wool over my eyes and just pure bullshit. I said, he said, but you've asked to go back to Leeds. He says, yeah, because you're treating me like absolute dog shit. I said, you don't treat people like that. He said, well, the deal's for, that, you know, end of the season. I said, fine. I said, I'll I said I've got no issue with that. I said, I'll stay. I said, and I will work my ass off. I said, you will not notice any difference whatsoever. I said, but I feel very, very let down with you that you lied to me, disappointed. Don't even think about blaming it on me. Go through all that. And we get to the end of the season. Has Leeds gone down? They're going down, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. so down. Leeds, Leeds are now going down. So I'm thinking I've got to go back to a good club. As I, as I predicted, I've got to go back to a club that are in the shit. Yeah. And it's a fire sale. You've got to get, and I've got four years left at Leeds. Big money. <laughs> they, don't, they, they, don't, they don't want me back now. Yeah. You know, and they've got all new owners and all these different types of things. So it's chaos. So then, of course, I go back to, uh, I think we, we, again, we have internationals that summer. And there's lots of talk about what's going on. Oh, the, the, the borough deal might be on this borough, might, might, this might, Blackburn are interested in me. That's fallen through. Birmingham are interested. That's fallen through because Leeds are now holding out for anything. Mm. So Leeds have gone, well, we want a million and a half. We want 500 grand. That's you know, it's 700 grand. Now it's 200 grand. It's like, it's, it's all over the gaff. So by, that makes Middlesbrough expecting to get you for free. Oh. Very, very ambitious, doesn't it? Yeah, like, so I mean. Thinking about it. Yeah, Le Leeds are now going, you know, they're desperate. You know, I've got four years left. And so they know, well, people know that I've got a big contract. Leeds want to get that contract off, but they're trying to get money back in. And, you know, and the, everything's changing constantly. So a little bit leads little lead with leads and that's them little little bit cutting the nose off despite the face in it. If they're saving four yeah, years yeah, on the Yeah, exactly. So and that, but that was take a, a million quid. Well so then I was then getting, well look, if you come back to Leeds, I said we can't pay you wages, the club's gonna fold. So we can't and sort of having because obviously the PFA had been involved all the way through this yeah. process and well look, we can't we can't afford it anymore. We've got to we've got to get mm. people off the books. Stadium's been sold, ground's been sold, this has yeah. been sold, that's been sold. There's nothing Plus, left. they've got administrators on the back yeah. as well. They've, they've Everything's got gone. to try and get as so, much so money as they can. You're thinking the club could go bust. It was genuine, seriously a concern that the club could go bust. So in the end, City came in for me about three weeks into pre-season. And they said, look, they'd been in a year before. Uh, Keegan was rang me up and said, look, I want to get you back in. Uh, you've done great, obviously, at Borough. We wanted you last year. We want to get you in. Uh, but I'm not going to lie to you. We can't match your wages. Uh, this is all we can give you. It's about 75%. I said, well, all right. Uh, dilemma now. Club's really struggling financially. There's, there's nothing left. They've sold everything. So I've gone to the club and gone, right, okay. There's this deal on the table. If you want to get rid of me, obviously you're going to have to give you a free but you're going to have to pay me up and you're going to have to make up the rest of this contract. Yeah. I said, I'm not going. I said, well, you, we've got nothing to pay you with. I said, you have to find it. I said, if not, I'm staying here. I said, I love this club. I said, I'm quite happy to stay here and playing in championship, whatever it is. Not, not asked. So now it's a game of poker, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, 
so it gets to the point and they're going through it and I'm so I'm on now with the lawyers I'm on with the PFA everything you know what can be done about this how can we do this that and the other so after a, after a week or so it gets to the point and Leeds go right okay we, we finally managed that we can do a deal but we can't pay you all up front because we haven't got it and the PFA are going well no they haven't genuinely genuinely haven't got it you know this skin but what if we pay you over three years? Mm, right, okay. So, yeah, that's, that's, I'll get me money back. Got to wait a bit, you know, but what options have I got now? Yeah. Because if I stay, I could send the club bust. Because it, it's, it's on the brink. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's Did you everything. consider backing down it? Like you said, you love the no. club. But... <laughs> I'd, have the, I'd have played in the championship before I'd have chucked my money away. Were you the, one of the last big earners yeah. then? You was I was the last one to leave. Yeah. Yeah. Everyone I mean, Harry had gone for like two million quid and you know, it was just I, I just dug my heels in and just said I'm not going. Not happening. Well, it, it, well, it's 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 the like, risk of the club going So bust. yeah, so I got to the point. So I was I I done I done a deal with Keegan. Uh and we uh, had a few bits and pieces on whatever, just sorting out stuff. So that was done. I was, I was driving home. And he rang me. He said, oh, brilliant, Dan. Glad it's all sorted. You know, four-year deal. Take over my Leeds contract, effectively. It's all done. He got it sorted with Leeds. So then we obviously went, went through the city process. Um, but of course, we're still getting paid f from Leeds uh, that season, obviously. And then Man City had been paying me. And then, of course, I got injured. So then I went to, obviously, ended up going to Hull. So Hull were paying me for a bit. Leeds were paying me for a bit. Man City were paying me for a bit. Hell. Then I went on loan a second time and obviously went back to Charlton and they were, I'd miss, I think it was one point I was getting paid by four clubs. <laughs> <laughs> Another check, Mr. Mills. <laughs> but what, but what, had happened, cause what, what had happened is Lee, Lee, I'd done this deal with Leeds and then they got into administration again. And they went, like, we're skinned again. We, got no, we, can't, we can't afford to pay it. And I, I had a seven day winding up order on the club. Part of this severance payment was that if they didn't pay me, I could basically call in my debt and that would wipe the club out. So I'm sat there with- What fucking you? power, eh? Like fucking what? Yeah, yeah. but, but can, you, can you imagine if I'd have done that? I'd have had to move to out of Mongolia. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Danny Mills folds leads. <laughs> I went, yeah, I quite like living where I'm living. <laughs> it's, uh, quite like my life. We'll sort some Mr. Isdale, I'm calling the debt in. <laughs> yeah, and so, but that's literally what it was. It was like, you know, if I call my debt in, they've got to pay me before every other creditor and this, that, and the other. So of course, so that three years then turned into five years to spread the payments. That's so it, unbelievable. I was doing them a mm. favor. Yeah. So that's why, that's why people ask, well, how long are you getting paid for Leeds at? Oh, well, I said a while. Because that, that had gone on. Man City, obviously my parent club, they were paying the bulk of my wages. I'd been to Charlton on loan for the second time. So they owed me some bonuses and, and bits and pieces. Obviously, they normally get them a month after, don't you? Mm. And I just got to Derby on loan. So it's all for... I got you at Derby, yeah. Four, four way slips. Do you, um, only play, do you only play a couple of games at Derby? Played nine, mm -hmm. 90... Played the first game. I, well, I, went, I went there. So I went, I went, so I went on loan to Hull because um, Adam Pearson was chairman. Uh, I knew Adam well. I knew you guys were struggling. Yeah. So I, tur I turned up at Hull. Didn't really know Parky that well. But Adam was like, I said, look, we're, we're struggling. We're like four or five games in. We've got, we've just got promoted, whatever it was. We've got these lads from lower leagues and we're, we're confidence is gone after a few games. We need someone in a bit of experience. Will he come and play for us? Yeah, no bother. No, not, not a problem. That's fine. So I turn up at Hull that like, first day and I'm like, fucking hell, fucking hell. Wash my own kit. <laughs> Getting changed in, I don't know. It was like, I don't know, it was like a social club, wasn't it? Yeah, it was fucking <laughs> right on my street. I'm thinking beans up spaghetti on toast or what at dinners that they used to put on. <laughs> so you know, I've gone, I've gone from Man City that's going, going in the other direction, whatever. And I'm thinking, so I've turned that and I'm thinking, all right, okay, need to bed in here. You know what I mean? This, but anyway, I'm on a big contract. These lads are the opposite ends of the spectrum at the time. Mm. So I'm thinking, I've got to, I've got to fit in somehow. No, no, no idea really who any of the fucking players are. <laughs> <laughs> Thought this fellow would go on the bins or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking like Kitman, why is Kitman training? <laughs> so I, I, obviously I've had, I've had a chat at the park in bits and pieces and I think it's the first day, we've, we've done a bit of a session in the morning, just getting to know the lads and I'm trying to fit in best as possible. And we did a fitness session in the afternoon. Stuart Ailes was a fitness coach and I thought, right, I said, you know, I'm not, I'm not sure if the lads are having me or not here or whatever. I said, I need, I need, to, I need to blend in, I need to fit in. And we started this fitness, he's put all cones out everywhere. 
thinking this is my game, fitness, whatever. And I've got to, so bizarrely, just as we sort of start, he's, he's finished putting the cones out, this bin lorry starts reversing to the training ground. And I've just gone, fuck me, Stewie. Look what's just arrived for your session. This is fucking dog shit. <laughs> Put it in there and let's fucking do it. <laughs> and, and I think obviously lads that's were like that. Oh, He'll do for him. Yeah, lads, lads, yeah, fucking brilliant. I'm fucking all over it. So, and, and I, I don't know if you remember. I went and apologised to him afterwards. I said, look, I, I had to do that just to try and because yeah. I think that you know when you, you've come from like Premier League, whatever, and these lads have just come up. There's a bit of like there's a massive disparity you know, in wages and sort of that, all that yeah. sort of stuff and bits and pieces. So I thought I've, I've got to make a real big effort to fit in. And then, but again, I played 10 games, I think. And then I'd had a stress fracture uh, where I had a previous injury where Bergkamp did me previously. So that that cut that very, very short. Mm. So I got hold from, I think, second bottom to fourth from bottom <laughs> and then left. <laughs> <laughs> so the injuries just get the better of you in the end. Yeah, so I went back to City. Then Adam Pearson was at, Manager uh, was chairman at Derby. I um, said, "Look, he said you obviously had a great spell at uh, Wink. He said we're going down. He says there's no chance we're surviving. He said we got like we got fucking eight points at this stage or whatever it was. He said we're going down. He said will you come it's on loans at the end of the season? Just need a bit of an injection or something. Uh, I'm going to get a couple of players in, but then we're looking to rebuild following seasons. We're looking to put a squad together now for, next year, for the yeah. championship. He said we would." come on loan this season, then we'll do your three-year deal at the end of it and everything will be sorted. Be all rosy and this, that and the other. Yeah, brilliant. Sorted. Go in, first game. We're unlucky, actually. I think we lost... I think we lost to Wigan. It might have been the FA Cup game was the first game. Then we we drew we drew that. I can't remember which way round it was. We, we drew against Sheffield Wednesday in the Cup and we lost to Wigan 1-0. CBS he scored. We're unlucky. I picked up a little niggle. It's fine. No, no, no issues with it. Went down to Portsmouth. Played Portsmouth. 32 minutes in, got past the ball. We won the lot. Fucking hell, that, that hadn't happened for a long time. <laughs> <laughs> got past the ball, went to sort of just plant my foot and knee just gave way, fell on the floor. Got up, uh, Sav, Savage passed me a ball. I went to run for it and just knee just gave way completely. Just gone. Going on. Got guys come on. Ooh. Yeah, well, this is not this is not good, is it? It's not your cruise shirt. That's, oh, yeah, but something's not right. I walk, uh, strap it all up, sort of hobble off the pitch, or whatever. First time I've ever come off in a, in a game, uh, injured. Never come off before injured in a game. Bus journey on the way home. Obviously, you know, this is this is serious now. This this is a problem because knees the size of a bone. Everything. Doc's like, oh, not sure about this. This is not good. <laughs> went went back into Man City. At that point, I'm thinking, all right, okay. How old are you at this point? Uh, 30, I think. Right. Just 29, 30. Uh, so I've, st I've still, got, still got two years left at City. Yeah. So I've still got plenty of time left. And I'm thinking, oh, fucking hell. So I go back and obviously it all comes through, right? Have the op, uh, have microfracture and all that sort of stuff. Go through that. Three months in a brace. Uh, can't move it. You know, I'm, I'm on, I've watched every single DVD that I've got. I've watched all the films I've got, whatever. I'm Googling stuff. I've, it gets more and more extreme that I'm Googling. <laughs> I don't want to know. Nothing, Specialist. No, no, nothing shocks me at this point. I'm, 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 I'm in the darkest despairs of Google. On the dark web. On the dark web. I'm pretty much on the dark web at this point. There's all sorts, there's all sorts going on. Uh, and they sort of come out of that and obviously then go back into rehab and realise I'm going to be a long time out. And there's an off chance this might, this could be the end. It's, you know, this is, it's going to be tough. And I was starting to go, this is just shit now. It's not, it's not really getting better. It's hard, it's hard work. Mm. It's going to, you know, I'm only three, four, I'm only four, five months in. I went, you know what, I, I need a change. I said, I need to do, I need to do something different. So I had an insurance policy that was basically would see me right a little bit if, if I finished. I mean, it wasn't cheap, but the club Man City would pay an excited range that and me deal. Yeah. No surprise there. Um, <laughs> Considering you haven't had an agent, you've done well. No, yeah, don't, 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 don't worry about that. Fuck all of my Catholics. Don't worry about that. What's that group called? It just, it just bought fucking Debenhams. <laughs> <laughs> what's it called, that group? So that, that's... Oh, so that, oh, I was going right. through all that and, and just thought, you know what, this, but I was getting to the point where the insurance company were going, well, look, if you play one reserve game, your insurance policy is null and void because you then declared yourself fit. Yeah. And I'm going, well, 
I can't play your reserve game. I can't. Where where's the risk? Because it's still not right. Yeah. Where's the risk? But you need to figure out if you're right. Because this is like another year on my contract that I'm going to get in my insurance money. I can't just write that off just to play. Try try and play in a reserve game. Yeah. So that's not happening. Fair so fair. I just I just went back and I went I went back and I went. That's it. Finished. And it's great. And then City go, oh yeah, we've released Danny Mills. I'm fucking released me. <laughs> <laughs> Is it all right now? Can you, are you running and stuff? I mean, I, I, like? yeah, I mean, it's like, it's like hitting your funny bone. So in certain angles, it catches the nerve and gives way. So I can run, but I can't jog and I can't run super fast. I just have to sort of stay in that middle yeah. section. I mean, I, I can ski, but to a point that if I go too low or it gets bumpy, it hits that nerve and gives way. Come down the stairs sometimes, over bend it, hits that nerve and just gives way. So yeah, yeah, it's it's managed. I can't mm. kicking a ball is not easy. Never was before you jump in. I say she didn't do it at fucking twenty three. That injury. <laughs> it, it's that snap in motion, that snap in the knee back motion that sort of hits the kneecap and whatever. But my kneecap's not attached to anything. My kneecap just floats around and moves around and does whatever. So it's it, it's not great, but. In terms of everyday life, but don't stop you playing garden with kids and not really. Mm. Uh, I, I can still, I can still run two three times a week. I can still do. I can do all those bits and pieces. I can still ski if I want. To. I just have to be just to manage it. Yeah, and I, I, say, mm-hmm. I, I say to people now, it's like a it's like a rusty bike chain. If I do nothing, it seizes up and it swells and I can't I can't move. It just locks completely. If I push it too hard, it'll snap, and it'll be another op. And those types of things. Just so the it's, it's just, it's just, cream. it's just keeping it ticking over. Yeah, and, and, and yeah. just going. Oh, and some days having to go. Well, you know what? It hurts a bit. Ibuprofen. Well, it yeah, get the yeah. ibuprofen in. You know, yeah. smash a few of them in. Old school. Old Did you enjoy like your media that. stuff? Yeah, it's good fun. Uh, it, I mean, I hated it to start with because I couldn't play. <clears> um, and then actually, it sort of kept me involved, and the guys were good, and and, and now it's it's sort of like a busman's holiday. Keeps you involved, gives you something to do. Because I found after the first year I did nothing. And then when I can't do this forever, I can't do nothing. Mm. Go off my head and go berserk. <laughs> you know, that's like, phew, wife hated it, I hated it. It's like, you're in each other's pockets, aren't you? Yeah. All of a sudden, mm. when you've been away for so long, there's only so much you can do. It's like, well, it's like I've been locked down, everyone's sort of got a bit of that. Yeah. I'm thinking, mm. I can't do that. Imagine doing lockdown for the rest of your life. <laughs> <laughs> no, it feels like it a minute. No, no thanks. <laughs> uh, so yeah, so me- media stuff's good. That's two or three days a week, but I've always had other business interests. Um, so I've always had a life away from football, which has sort of kept things ticking over and doing other bits and yeah. pieces. So I always say I had a life away from football. So even when I finished, I wasn't just a footballer. I could still be a dad got other stuff, mm-hmm. right? and I could still do those other, other bits and pieces and, and that type of thing. And, mm-hmm. and so my, yeah, so my, my kids were, my eldest was like 10, no, yeah, uh, nine probably when I finished. So I had a, I had a nine year old, seven year old, five year old and a three year old. So we might have got lucky in a way then, eh? Like, like well, yeah, so I, all there. The, the, mm. the, other, the only other thing I regret is not playing longer so they could see me play properly. Yeah. 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 That, that's the only thing I sort of, you know, they, they've had to watch. I know, but be, to be fair though, Mills, they're, they're, watching, they're watching you playing in the World Cup, mate. They're not playing us at fucking, watching <laughs> us at keep more, you know what I mean? They're watching you in the World I, Cup. I've played there as well. So <laughs> <laughs> Who's the uh, toughest opponent? Uh, Ginola ripped me apart once. I mean, I mean, proper ripped me apart, but ripped me a new arsehole. The top I mean, Yeah. I, I mean, I... I I ran out and I didn't know, start with, I didn't know whether to like cuddle him or kick him, <laughs> try, try and chat him up. You, you know smell I mean? good. Oh, he's beautiful. Oh, he looked good, smelt good. Just, was just, 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 just like, <laughs> even when he had a go at you, yeah, fuck you off. It's a bit of a turn, a a turn on him. Yeah. Oh, you know, it's like Pepper Le Pew. You know what I mean? It's like, oh, he's having a go at me, but I love him. A bit of a turn. Pop a man crush. He was six foot three, six foot four. Could go either way, left foot, right foot. On his day, he was unplayable. But he weren't particularly quick, <laughs> was he? So I, like Brownie wants to go either way. Yes. Yeah, was, 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 was a real <laughs> strong runner. Um, but yeah, it's one of those, you, you look back and go, who did I, I had a nightmare against him. I had a shocker. Yeah. And, and he uh, played against some incredible players through the times, but genuinely did okay. I mean, that was one game where I had one. Mm. You know, it's just, just had one. 
and he absolutely just twisted me. It's me, different. It's different to Carlos and Nicholas. You know what Carlos is going to do. Well, that's you the thing. I, I mean, but that's what I'm saying he could go right foot, left foot. He could nutmeg you. He could beat you in the air. He's he could, strong as well, isn't he? And you, and he was unpredictable. Yeah. He just did mm. not know what was going to come up. And when you look, so on his day. It was just unplayable. And it, honestly, my me, me blood was curdling. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> it best, me. best and worst manager? Best manager, Pardew, if I'm honest. Uh, because he was honest. Uh, he was innovative. He was brutal um, at times. You know, and, and, and that's all I wanted. You know, he knew his stuff as well. And I think he, by the time I went there, went to Charlton that second time, he appreciated that senior players were a big part of, of the football club. Yeah. And he had respect for the senior players and he, and he was good with me. He, tr he trusted me. You know, he'd give me a day off to come home knowing that full well I was going to go out and do an half hour run. And he said, I've got no, you know, but then, you know, there were a couple of times early on we, we were playing, I think we were about to play Ipswich, played three or four games. And he just came in the dressing room and just went, Dan, in front of everyone, he said, look, he said, you, you're supposed to be an international. Is there any chance of seeing a decent performance from you? Mm. And he said, come on, you need to start pulling your finger out because this lot think, you know, this lot should be looking up to you. Went, oh, okay. Went out and had a go. And it sort of it kicked. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He'd obviously, within four games, he'd realised that I needed that little bit of a kick on yeah. and I could take it and was going to take it the right, in the right way. way. It's a big, a big <clears throat> statement that you've played some top managers. Yeah. And so, how long so, did you play under Pardew? It wasn't long. Oh, six months. Um, so he was, but then I go back, you know, obviously Mike Walker was an ass cause he'd, he'd been me <laughs> and, and oh, Mike, John Dean was good at Norwich, gave me a pro contract, um, but never, <laughs> never played for him. <laughs> Mike Walker at Norwich, stitched me up, uh, killed me. Uh, Martin O'Neill was good, gave me my debut at Norwich, but was weirdo. I mean, was, you know, was, everything was about winning and losing. You know, if you didn't like you, forget it, run. So it, it, it was good, but not. He, he wasn't bad in any way, shape, but he was just very, very different in the way that he sort of, the way that he did things. Very Brian Clough, any of the older people yeah. that sort of listening that, you know, you win, see you Thursday. Yeah. What? You lose back in tomorrow morning running. That, that sort yeah. of type of mentality. Then <clears throat> uh, obviously, Curbs was good, but again, was only with Curbs a year, got promoted, uh, relegated. So Curbs was decent. I mean, didn't have an issue with Curbs. Uh, O'Leary was a complete arse. Um, <laughs> Blackwell? Arse. <laughs> Reed? Stitch me up, arse. <laughs> nice Keegan. fellas. Keegan? Uh, weak, rubbish, tactician, hopeless. McLean? Sven with England, odd. Uh, different, very quiet. C unique. Didn't, you know, com did things in a completely different way to everybody else. Would never shout. When he wanted to get angry or wanted the team to listen, would talk quieter. So he'd whisper. So everyone had to, like, you could hear a pin drop. Because mm. so, <laughs> you know, you're absolutely weird. Well, yeah, you know, like, it's, it's, one of those, it's like, and it, it, that was weird in football because mm. most managers were screaming, shouting, there'd be boots getting, you know, everything was going off. So I'm going to be like this. <laughs> I can see what's coming. Shut up, shut up, we're trying to hear it. Well, you are. And it's, so so everyone, everyone's going. <laughs> it's a good time to take that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, so it was clear. I mean, he spoke like, spoke six, yeah. six languages fluently. Has okay. there, there ever been any. Uh, Tell us about tear ups, training ground tear ups. Well, what are you in about that? Uh, well, we had the, uh, we had plenty. Joey <laughs> was fucking mushroom. Well, but Bo, yeah. Bo had a few at Leeds. Had a few of them. Um, just red mist. Yeah, just 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 scuffles. I mean, a few punches thrown. You know, a bit of blood spilt. You Were know, you ever involved? Uh, not really. I, I nearly had one with a duke once. Oof. Um, we we we, we, we snowing. Yeah, we snowing. And we were in the gym, <laughs> you know, you know going to the gym inside, but it was the, it was the old school, it was the old gym, no Astro it was yeah. on the you know, well, concrete floor, you know, the, the furry ball and mm -hmm. all that sort of nonsense. Yeah. Of course it starts off fine, doesn't it? And then there's a little nudge into the wall from somebody <laughs> <laughs> and then that goes back a bit more and then there's a, and all of a sudden, cause the lads got tracky bottoms on, they're sliding in on it. It's like, it, it started to get out of hand. It was all kick it. It started, it, you could, it was building. It was, it was all building. I've, I think I've steamed into the Dukes, whatever. And we've had a bit of a scuffle in the corner. And whatever, it is. and all of it, he's just turned out and he's clubbed me. But he's it, it, clubbed me like with a straight arm. A clothesline. Well, but on the top of my head. <laughs> <laughs> it's, like, it's, it's like bowling. He's come over the top and he's gone doosh like a hat into the floor. I've, I've shrunk about four inches. <laughs> and the lads have then jumped in and it's all sort of like piled off on bits and pieces. It's like, oh, okay. <laughs> Thank God that's that. Got, you know, when you went to the yeah. fair and you did the hammer, yeah. it's like, yeah, that's what it was. He's the most placid man on the planet. 
<laughs> but it got, you know, it was, it was just building, but it was, it was, I said, it wasn't a punch. It was like, yeah, you know, you pick the hammer up on the, on the fairground <laughs> and you hit the thing. It was like one of them, but it was like, boing, ding, and then it hit the bell. <laughs> Were you a fan of the, fan of the mind games? Oh, yes. Love, love the mind games. I mean, I, there were, me and Thatch were at City, do it all the time. And then we, I mean, we did it to, we did, to, Lee Croft was at City, uh, Moonhead. Biggest face on the planet. You know what I mean? He's like, he's just, his, his head was just face. It was just huge. <laughs> so we used to get into his ribs all the time and give him, uh, hammer him, and probably a bit too far sometimes. And we, we got to that point and then we were playing Norwich. So what me and Thatch used to do is I'd go and stand next to the, uh, the left winger, sorry, the right winger, and he would go and stand next to my, my winger we were going to play against. And of course he knew Thatch. And we said, Crofty, uh, you all right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, yeah. What, what did you say about Thatch? You, you spoke about Thatch in the press or something? No, why? No, why? He's after you. What have you said? <laughs> so he's fucking red mist is down already. He says, I've, we've had to keep him away from him in the tunnel. I says, he's going to, he's going to have to take a red. He's going to break your legs. He's going to snap you in two. I said, I don't know what you've said. Because he must have said something about his missus or something. He's fucking fuming. <laughs> Croft is going out. Of, Crap at his pants. <laughs> and so did this. First, first challenge, first ball gets rolled into him, first challenge, and he's jumping. <laughs> Job done. <laughs> Don't need to worry about him anymore this game. <laughs> so, so we used to do stuff like that all the time. You know what I mean? Yeah, in the tunnel. Did you used yeah. to just um, and I, I did it um, early. When I went to, uh, Lloyd, Lloyd Sam played in front of me at Charlton. Uh, and, and Lloyd he was brilliant because he was he was he wasn't the brightest. But he was quick as, and he was really young. He was he was keen as mustard, proper keen. And I'm thinking, oh, this lad can do all my running. I'm still fit, but I can do all my running here. I'm br brilliant. So I'd be like, Lloydy, I said, Lloyd, he'd go past the fullback. I'd be, Lloydy, you're on fire, son. You're absolutely on fire. Just build him up all the time. I said, you've got him on toast. This he doesn't know what he's doing. I said, he's he's fucking having one that fullback. Just keep getting at him, and he turned and he turned around. And he's sort of like. Little smiling thumbs up to me. <laughs> like a schoolboy giggling. It was, it was just it was just silly things like that. But the amount of, getting in, you know, getting into people's heads like that, you know, just walking past people and going, Well, I'll tell you what, you're you're nowhere near as good as I thought you were, mate. You're fucking you're happy. <laughs> I thought you were a half decent player, but you're just fucking you're shit, aren't you? <laughs> you shit. Aren't you? The thing is you can do that when you play for England, can't you? <laughs> you know what I mean? But it was like, it's, it's it's always those like those quiet little ones. Where it gets people thinking. Yeah. Yeah. Just little, drop that, a little, to, a little. Used to, yeah. You used to say that with referees. But, you know, if you're screaming and shouting at a referee, he's going to ignore you and he's going to go, he's going to go against you. But if you're running past him and go, are you sure, ref? I'm not sure about that decision, but you might rather look at that at half time. Because I, I'm not, not going to lie to you. That, that's just a horrific, horrific decision. I, don't, I understand you've missed it, but oh, you want to have a look at that one. That's, mm. a, that's a bad one. And suddenly, human nature just, you start to doubt yourself. And you think, well, he's not really had a go at me. Well, he has. So he's half doing me a favor. Well, yeah, yeah it's, it's like he planted you, the seed. Well, it, it's like killing with kindness. Yeah, and and, and getting to that sort of mentality. So, yeah, we we loved all that sort of stuff. Yeah, that'd be brilliant. <laughs> oh, brilliant, man! Yeah, yeah, thank you very much. Thanks for your time. Interesting, yeah. Matt. Thanks Good for your hospitality. Good luck with the Cheers, mate. Cheers, yeah, Tom, man. Get out of five minutes. Tom. <laughs> I'm selling my house in a few months. I might get you on for oh, negotiations. I love, 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 love it. Get a few clauses. <laughs>